Hey guys, back again with another edition of Letters from Players. So this time I've got a few more responses about the steroid issue in baseball that I talked about last time. So we got Johnny Briggs, who was a player in the 50s and 60s. So again, what I asked was with recent light of steroid issue in baseball, what should be done to the players? and the records set by these players, and how long do you think it's been going on? So he, Johnny Briggs said that will be up to baseball in general. It will be up to baseball in general what is done. Um, and that it's probably been going on for a while, which I think everyone has agreed on that. The next one is Johnny Romanowski, also a player. He was a player in the 50s. Um, so he said, I think the major leagues has answered your question on steroids, which I think you got to read into that answer, meaning they didn't do anything really, you know, at, at this time. So this was 15 years ago. I'm sure they knew that that was going on for, had, had been going on for a while and that they just turned a blind eye to it basically until it actually leaked out and MLB wasn't wasn't the weren't they weren't the ones responsible for that leaking out um I think you just had someone I think it was Bonds that they first kind of questioned what he was taking and it just kind of went from there so they basically turned a blind, blind eye to it and they only responded when they absolutely had to you know with the testing and the consequences following that uh frank trapuca he was a good player quarterback in the 50s and um so what i asked him was what is the best piece of advice you've ever received? Um, he said, study and stay in school, and that you'll go far. Uh, some of the players he looked up to, a couple of the great old-time quarterbacks, Sammy Baugh, played for the Redskins, and Sid Luckman, who played for the Bears. In the greatest moment of his career, he went to Notre Dame, um, three undefeated seasons. That's pretty impressive. 46, 47, and 48. So he had a good college career in, in the NFL as well. Next one, we've got Bubba Fett, Jeremy Bullock. So I wrote to him probably 10 years ago. I'm not sure if he still signs or not. And he lives... I believe at the time, he probably still does, but he lives in the UK. Um, so I sent him a couple cards, and he signed one. Um, so what I asked him, you know, remember, this is Boba Fett. So this is kind of an interesting response. His, I asked him what his favorite character that he had played was, and he said a businessman in a stage play several years ago. I don't know what that would have been, but... You know, it's just like a Broadway play that um, type that he would have played in. So kind of an interesting response. I mean, I guess in playing Bubba Fat, he really didn't have much for speaking roles and he was masked up and everything. Um, the best piece of advice he's ever received, just keep going if you get turned down time and time again which you know you have to be that whether it's in sports or acting or anything really if you want to be successful and the most influence on his life he said his family so i did send him two cards and he said i am sending just one card um as it's fair to others um just to sign one so that's that's more than fair by me, um, and he responded to my letter, so that was really cool that he did that. Much appreciated. So the next one I have is kind of an odd one. Probably the strangest one I've gotten back, I would guess. This is Tommy McDonald, who is uh, deceased, but he 
was a Hall of Fame wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, Six-time Pro Bowler, and he made it to the Hall of Fame in 98. So I sent him his 1957 Tops card, and I still have it. He put a note on it saying that his autograph is too big for a card. So he didn't sign the actual card, unfortunately, but he did give this response to my letter pretty in-depth. So let's go through this. Um, the greatest moment he ever had in his career. So he said to realize in life you are either on God's team or you are on the devil's team. Every day is a game day in life. God made you for a reason. You and you as a person must make it a good reason, not a bad reason in your life. So pretty, you know, he wrote a few, three sentences there. So a nice response to that one. Uh, best piece of advice he has ever received. Um, to throw a lot of love and dedication and devotion back to God. These are actually really thoughtful responses, I thought. Um, and if you could go back in time to talk to one person for 10 minutes, who would it be? And he crossed out one, and he said two people, uh, and he said his mom and dad, and he put awesome, you know. Again, thoughtful response. Um, who had the most influence on your career? And that was, he said, God, by showing love, devotion, and dedication every day to God, um, 365 days. So he kind of... So we put 365, love, devotion, dedication, 365 days. Your life will be a lot better 365 days. Um, and then, you know, I put his bio information here. And he went to college at Oklahoma, said he never lost a game in college, 1954, 55, and 56. And then inducted into the Hall of Fame. There he said wow, and another wow, probably for the six-time Pro Bowl team. Um, so actually a really thoughtful response from Tommy McDonald. And um, he was a bit odd. I've heard a few stories on him, but this is actually one of my more favorite letters, to be honest with you, just because he definitely... He added a lot of stuff, and he definitely thought about the questions I answered, or asked him. And then he sent this, this was kind of weird, he sent this, uh, like, poem that he had written. Um, he must have been sending that to everyone, but it's kind of, it's kind of odd, I guess. He's got a lot of arrows and stuff pointing in different directions, and whatnot but it's just a lot of uh i guess religious um i don't know attitude attitude or love devotion towards god and determination in your life and that's kind of motivating actually so it was it was kind of interesting to see you know and I guess that's his poem, You as a Person, by Tommy McDonald. So that, that was pretty neat that he added that, actually. So, all right, guys. Um, that's all I got for this episode. Stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching.